What's up WP Venture, my name is Luke, and in this video, we'll be going through some brand new big features released in Elementor 3.3 to help you build better WordPress websites. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk about Elementor 3.3. There's a couple big things that Elementor has released in Elementor 3.3. One of them is website kits, and we'll explain what that is in a minute. And then there's some performance updates that they've released as well as the color sampler. So all really cool things that I'd like to show you today and just talk about how these things can help you as you build your websites, whether you're building personal websites for yourself as a business or if you're building uh, websites as a company, you know, as a small agency or a freelancer building websites. So Elementor 3.3 came with a, a couple of big things as I mentioned. The first one is website kits. So let's just jump right into what website kits are. Think of website kits as themes, even though it's not a theme technically, but a website kit is just a pre-installed bunch of pages, theme styles, all that kind of stuff that will go to get you a really good starting point when you're using Elementor. So you can install Elementor, and even in the free version, you can grab a free kit if you want, get it installed, and then you can go ahead and start customizing from there. So it's a good starting point. I would say it's more powerful for those of you who have an Elementor Pro license, or if you want to get an Elementor Pro license and use it there. But basically, website kits are just a starting point. It's a template that can be imported into Elementor. So Elementor has their own kind of basic version that you're gonna see here in a minute that can be used. And then there's also a bunch of other Elementor template kits that are out there on ThemeForest as well that you can purchase if you don't see one in the Elementor library that you like. So let's hop over real quick to our kind of demo website here and we'll talk a little bit about the kit library, what it looks like, all that kind of stuff. So here on, on our test website, I'll just go ahead and say that we do have Elementor and Elementor Pro both installed. So you'll see under, under install plugins, we have the latest version 3.3.1 and then 3.3.4 of Elementor Pro installed. You don't need Elementor Pro to use website kits, but there are a couple of basic ones that are in there, but most of the really good website kits that are gonna be available for Elementor are gonna be behind the Pro license that you would need to get an Elementor Pro license to get started to see. So let's go ahead and find the template kit. So once we have Elementor installed and we have the template kits available to us right now in Elementor 3.3 and above, it's gonna be under templates and then kit library. So let's pull up the kit library here. So you can see here, bam, you know, you can literally have Elementor Pro, or sorry, Elementor installed. And then if you want the better templates, Elementor Pro, and we can have this template library available to us immediately, okay? So template kits are easily able to be installed in Elementor. So we can see here we have all the different ones. We have some free ones available across the top. And then we also have, again, the majority of our Elementor Pro licenses are going to be, I'm sorry, of our template kits are gonna be under uh, the, an Elementor Pro license that you would have to have and sign up for. Pretty cost effective, especially if you're building sites okay, for money, if you're building it as a website business but basically our kits are all available to us here. So all I have to do is I can look around at a couple of the different kits. Let's go ahead and view the demo of this one. Styling looks pretty cool. I love the spacing and the white space of this layout here. So this is a pro kit, it is. You do need Elementor Pro license here to do this, to do this kit in particular, but this could be used as a booking website. So if you're building a website for a client who wants to do booking for travel, and this one, of course, is showing it looks like a European travel, but you can use it if you wanted to. It has a pop-up built, built in here, which is pretty cool. So I can go look at all the different things. Okay, I like how this looks. I can also look at it responsibly before I install. Okay, it looks great on a tablet. Looks great on a phone as well. This is all really set up very well to be a nice kit to be able to be used from scratch. So let's, let's say I want to use this and I want my website to look like this so I can go ahead and customize it for myself or for a client. All I'm gonna do is go up to the top here and hit apply kit. All right, so I hit the, the apply kit button. It's gonna ask me what I wanna import. So I can import the templates, so headers, footers, archives. If I want it to look like the demo, I need to go ahead and keep all of these checked, okay? So site settings for global colors and fonts, all this takes a long time to set up. So if I want everything to look just like the kit, I need to go ahead and just use, keep all of these checked. And then I'm gonna hit this next button in the bottom right, and it's gonna go ahead and set it up. This is almost like installing a theme, but a more streamlined process. So it's gonna set up our kit, and we'll just give it a second here to go ahead and get everything installed for us. While that's doing that, let me just flip over and say that ThemeForest now for a couple months already has had lots, like thousands of Elementor kits available for purchase as well. So if you don't find anything that's gonna work for you in Elementor's basic kind of setup 
and lists set up there. You can find all these different kits at, uh, at Theme Forest, and there's a link down below in the description to head over to Envato on Theme Forest, and you can buy one of these uh, one of these kits. If you use our link, we do uh, it does help us out as a channel uh, and as a team, and so we do get a, a commission there if you use our link. So we'd be we definitely ask you to use our link below, and we'll get a, a commission there. But you can go down and you can search through all these you know different types of Elementor kits on Theme Forest as well to be able to import one that works for you or your clients needs as well there. So once the kit import process is complete, it's gonna send us to this next step and say, hey, what parts of this do you wanna go ahead and bring in to import your template kit? So we'll just leave those checked as well because we want everything to look exactly like uh, the demo. All right, so it's gonna say that our kit is now live on our site. So we can go ahead and hit back to dashboard. It's gonna take us back to our dashboard. Let's flip to the front end here and let's take a look. Perfect. So here we are with our kit installed. Man, this is an amazing way to start out with a pre-designed kit that's been installed with a nice beautiful pop-up. We can use for cookie consent if we want. Not lots of images and we are ready to go here right away, which is amazing that, you know, it's so quick and easy to get this installed. So kit wise, uh, this is an amazing thing. Uh, you know, we can go back and, you know, let's say we want to reset and do another thing, but this is a wonderful, you know, release that Elementor came out with in Elementor 3.3. So website kits is one big thing that we can use. The next part of the release of 3.3 with Elementor is a little bit techy. So this may be more for you guys who are running agencies and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to talk a little bit for a second about some techy parts of this. They're talking about you know lowering the uh, CSS weight, okay, for performance improvements. So this is really big for anybody who's focused on SEO speed on your website. So it is important to notice, and we pay a lot of attention to this as an agency that builds websites because we want to make sure that our our clients' websites are absolutely the most streamlined they can, especially with Google Core Web Vitals coming out and being as important as it is. So one of the two big things that they've changed here with Elementor is the inline CSS load and the conditional CSS load, okay? So beginners, just set this part of the video aside, fast forward to the, the next part. For you guys that are doing freelance work or focused on SEO from an Elementor standpoint, this is this is an amazing thing that they've changed. So your inline and conditional CSS loading. Traditionally in the past, when a page on Elementor would load, okay? Elementor actually is going to load the CSS for almost all the elements that could be used on the page onto the page. It's going to load that CSS and it, that that is loading a lot of unnecessary CSS to potentially apply to different elements that you might use on the page. It really weighed down each page in Elementor and it's just, you know, important from a site speed aspect. So what Elementor is saying that they've changed here is now they're only loading the CSS for widgets that appear on the page. So for the widgets that appear on the page, the ones that are actually here, so you can see here the text widget, right, that's gonna, or heading widget that's gonna be used here, this form widget that's gonna be used here, only the CSS for these widgets is gonna load. So it's gonna vastly improve your page speed performance because, you know, from Google's standpoint, the page is gonna load faster because it's loading a lot less CSS when it's loading the page and looking for the CSS that styles these element. The animations library will also be loaded only if you use it on your page. So for instance, in the past, whether or not you used animations to pop things in or lazy load things or load things in on different ways on the page, Elementor would load the animation CSS file as well, which is gonna load the, all the possible animations that you might use on the page. From here on out, it's only gonna load animations if you're using them on the page, which is great. So any pages that aren't using any animations, it's not gonna load the animations either. So these are performance improvements that are actually a big step for Elementor, and it's a good thing to see them do because as we build you know, agency websites, as we build sites for our clients, if they have you know, enough budget that we're really working on SEO and page speed optimization and performance, these are things that are gonna help us be more confident in using Elementor as we build the tools. All right, and then the last thing that we wanna take a look at here that releases in Elementor 3.3 is the color picker. So I'm actually like weirdly giddy about this as well. We just got done launching a custom Elementor website at our agency. And you know, a big thing that you can't do, which I constantly wish you would be able to do, is be able to choose colors from the page to be able to apply them to different things. So let me show you kind of in real, you know, in real, in, in a real way how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and element, edit this page in Elementor that we just got installed. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to load here. Okay, so in, in the past, you know, let's see, let, let's take our booking form here. Okay, so our, our settings load in our booking form. 
we have our button, okay? So under the styling of our button, we would go through and change you know, our text color here, all the different things that are going to be um, styling our button. So we have our background image or a background color here for our button, all that kind of stuff. Well, let's say that we don't want our button to be yellow, but let's say that instead we decide, I do like the yellow because it pops up as a call to action, but let's say that we decide that we want our button to match the color of something else that's on the page, okay? In the past, maybe this green color that's here. In the past, we had to have those colors saved somewhere, maybe in a notepad file or um, something where we can constantly be using that same color. Okay, and so there's lots of times where we're editing websites and we wanna easily be able to go in and just grab a color that's already on the page and set it to the background of this button. So under this background color setting with Elementor 3.3 and above, what we can do now is we can go ahead and grab this color, okay? And now we have this little color sampler option, which is really cool. Okay, so the color sampler option is gonna let us set a color that's on the page somewhere else. Super easy, super awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this color sampler and you see when I do, if you look at my mouse here, it changes to this little dropper, okay? So this little dropper is gonna let me go down and grab this green color from right here if I want to, okay? And when I do, it gives me the hex color of that green color, okay? So what I can do is actually, I can go ahead and select that color, and now when I go up and look at this button, of course we wouldn't leave this way, but now it's green. This is such a big thing for Elementor to release. I'm actually so excited about this, to be able to select colors from you know anywhere else on the site. So a lot of times we're just doing things real fast, and we want to, you know, change the color. So now I can, you know, I selected the little color, this little, these little lines right here. I can select that hex color, and I can go ahead and change that. That actually doesn't look bad, right? That go, that matches another color that's on on our site. We will use this a ton as we build websites because you can go through the page and you can grab a background color or some sort of, some sort of color that's already on the page. I'm not going to have to save the hex codes and Notepad files and copy them and paste them in anymore. This this background is actually really really cool and lets me kind of, you know, select that color, you know, right from the page, which is really really cool. Let's say I want to go back to yellow. And that's actually selecting the white. Now, the other thing that the color picker is going to do is when I select a color here, it'll actually give me multiple different colors that kind of go with that palette to choose from. So you can see here I have all these different things. And the cool thing is as I hover over each of them, it gives me a preview of what it looks like, which is really, really cool. I love this feature from Elementor. I think it's really smart and I think it's been needed for a long time in Elementor. So I'm really, really happy about this. As we build sites at our agency, we will use this a ton as we go through and build to be able to set things at a quick color, you know, real quickly as we're going through and setting settings on different things to be able to grab that color that we already used on the page as we build it down and apply it somewhere else. So those are the three big parts of um, what Elementor has released in Elementor 3.3. Let me actually jump over to Elementor and just talk about the pro licensing real quick. You know, if you wanna go ahead and grab a pro license to be able to get started building your websites with Elementor Pro. Here's all the plans that are available for Elementor Pro. And if you use the link below to grab Elementor Pro, you will help us out as a team. But Elementor Pro is a wonderful tool to get started and to use. So your Elementor Pro license is here. The link is down below. If you just wanna get started with one site and do pretty much everything that we looked at today, you can just get started with your Essential. That's, that's a great way to approach it. Is get started with Essential or Advanced if you're just building a couple of websites and then upgrade if you need to. If you build more websites that are part of your portfolio or you build for clients, upgrade later on. Start with something lower and then upgrade later on. That's no, no worries at all there. The key is just to do it, just to try it out and get started. You could even start with the free version of Elementor, see if you can do what you want. And then if you wanna add all the different pro features that come along with pro that are, you know, your comparison is here on the page as well, your WooCommerce builder to e build e-commerce websites, all these things that happen, you can go ahead and add those as well later on. But we strongly recommend Elementor. We build all of our agency websites, most of them, using Elementor Pro for clients. It's a wonderful tool to either use for your own websites or build sites for clients as an agency or as a business. We're on the agency plan and we have tons and tons of our clients using our licenses that we build for them using Pro and it's an amazing approach to go. So hopefully that was a great update for you for Elementor 3.3 today. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We'll do our absolute best to try and respond to them. 
please subscribe to the channel. We're going to be putting out lots and lots of new videos coming out pretty soon as we build up our content and start releasing regular videos on Elementor, e-commerce websites, mobile apps, lots of different things that we're going to be releasing. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release new videos. And we will see you soon in the next video. Cheers.